what did I miss? Brian here, and there's an M3 in front of my truck. Back at Adam's place, got Christian and Adam. And today we got another... Today we got another mod for the 4Runner. And yes, the hood is up, but it's not an engine mod. Instead, we are going to be relocating the differential breather. The breather is in the rear, so we are going to route it towards the front. A few reasons behind this. One, we have been getting a lot of floods in Houston, especially during Hurricane Harvey. And recently, we just had a tropical depression in Melda. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. yeah, so my truck is not lifted. So at least what I can do now is relocate the breather. With where the stock breather is located, water and dirt can easily get in the differential. And considering how high these floods can get, I'm not going to take any chances, and so I'm going to relocate the breather now. To make this breather relocation mod possible, we'll need the fitting and a new breather, which are both OEM Toyota, and a 5 16th hose to connect to both of them. For the hardware and other stuff to hold it together, we'll need hose clamps, a 1 half inch cushion clamp, zip ties, and a bolt in metric units, and the dimensions for it are displayed on the screen. And lastly for the tools, we'll need a 12mm wrench, a 14mm wrench, a 10mm socket, and I didn't show these, but we'll need some cutters and a flathead screwdriver. So I have the hose rolled out, and we don't need this much hose. However, we do want to give it some slack, give it a little extra hose than what I really need, because eventually, I want to lift my forerunner, and if I were to keep it short and I lift it, the lift could possibly tear the hose, so it's ideal to leave a little bit of slack. Just to give an idea on how it's supposed to look, I have the new breather in the hose, and I'm going to set it where we're going to mount it. Oops. Drop the hose clamp, but it's whatever. But this is where it's going to sit. See where the holes line up on the firewall? That's where we're going to bolt it. And then we're going to route the hose the rest of the way. It's all lifted on jack stands and the front wheels are blocked off with a couple bricks. Just like that. There is a lot of room without the spare tire under here. Now would be a good time to clean the undercarriage, but we're not gonna be focusing on that. We're gonna be mainly focusing on the diff breather. This is the breather we're going to be pulling out and this is where you need a 14 millimeter wrench to pull it off. After that, you take the fitting, place it in there, and that requires the 12 millimeter, and then route the hose the rest of the way there.
Okay, we just got the breather relocation mod done. It is sitting on the side of the firewall and the hose is routed down there and it's pretty close to the frame. So just like that, it's a very simple mod, really easy to do, doesn't take a lot of time to do, except since I made a video out of it, it took a lot longer than it should have. But thanks a lot, Christian, and thanks a lot, Adam. After relocating the diff breather, I gave it about a week to see if the truck ran any different and if there's any noticeable difference in performance. And just to see if everything is still intact. It runs the same, it doesn't feel any smoother or rougher at all. So really the diff breather relocation mod was really just to relocate the breather so that water doesn't get into the differential. The hood is up and the spare tire is off. I'm gonna go under and check to make sure everything is still in one piece. I'm going to start off at the differential Right there is where the fitting took place of the uh, OEM diff breather. And then we got this hose, a lot of hose. There's a lot of slack under here. And then, uh, yep, there's the hose. And it goes behind this heat shield where the curved pipe of the exhaust is. Then going behind the curved pipe as well as this same exact heat shield, there is that same exact hose. Looking through the rear passenger wheel well, you'll see that there's that same exact hose. Uh, not too sure how well they'll show on camera, but it's right there. Then going under the truck, you'll see there's the hose again, where you saw in the wheel well. Like I said, plenty of slack. And then I zip tied it to one of the brake lines and it goes along the frame and then it's tucked inside. And this is where I'm gonna have to go deeper and deeper under the truck. Looking under, I zip tied it to the inside of this exhaust hanger and I was afraid that it was going to get melted or something because the exhaust gets pretty hot, but looks like it's still intact. It's still holding up, so that's really good. You can see it's tucked again and then I'm gonna have to readjust. It's tucked again and it's resting on top of the frame and it's in between the frame and the body. Then moving forward, and you can see it's sticking out slightly on the front passenger wheel well. Then moving up into the engine bay, you can see it's routed up, then off to the side, and then bolted on the firewall. The way I could tell that this worked is that I fiddled with this end cap just slightly, and as you can see, I turned it and it's really loose, and that means that air is able to escape out through this hose. Before installing it, it was extremely stiff and you couldn't move it at all. Now, you could easily rotate it and if you were to tap it, it will make a rattling noise. I also did the soap and water test and I sprayed water at the differential, especially where the adapter and the hose took place of the OEM diff breather. And there are no leaks, everything is airtight, so water cannot get into the differential. Even though my truck is at stock height, it's not lifted. It's definitely something to do because with the amount of floods we have in Houston, Texas, waters could range from a few inches to a foot or two, and in some cases, a few feet. And with the OEM diff breather, water can easily get into the differential and ruin it. Now, since I had relocated it to the engine bay, that is now the highest point of the differential. Overall, it's an easy mod. Uh, I guess the only thing to worry about is routing the hose, making sure it doesn't touch anything hot or anything that's moving. And of course, making sure the hose doesn't get punctured by any road debris. And the way I have it set up is it's just literally on zip ties. So maybe at some point I may clean it up and make it look nicer, but for now, this will do. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're subscribed, thanks. If you're not, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood and put the spare tire back on. So take care everyone. I'll catch you on the flip side.